So what's your answer? 17. So tell me how you've solved the problem. What sets Making Sense of Mathematics for Teaching apart from other series are the years and years of professional development that went into forming our craft. You can see this in the organization of the series. So for example, each chapter begins with a challenge. The challenge provides teachers with an opportunity to experience mathematics as learners, learning mathematics in ways possibly they were never taught. Then we connect that experience to the progression. How does that task fit in how mathematics develops over time? The mathematics section comes next. There we unpack the mathematics so that teachers are prepared to teach rigorous standards. But what do those standards look like in the classroom? The classroom section describes this. We use actual classroom video so that teachers are able to see best practices in a classroom with students using the same mathematics they've experienced and explored in the chapter. But what happens when students don't understand, when we need a response for students? That's the response section. And what do you have here? What is this picture? The same as this to add it. Really? But look at this. This doesn't look like A to me. This looks like something different that you've drawn here. What did you draw there? In that section, we address students who struggle and how to support them in instruction. And so we come full circle. The teacher becomes the learner, the teacher sees the mathematics positioned within learning progressions, understands the math very deeply, experiences it in the classroom, and knows how to respond when students don't understand. We help teachers truly make sense of mathematics for teaching. One of the main tenets of mathematics for teaching is that teachers who have a deep understanding of content include three things in their instruction, tasks, questioning, and evidence. With tasks, we believe that when teachers have a deep understanding of mathematics, they select tasks that really help students have a deeper understanding of mathematics because those tasks will address concepts before procedures. And when students have an opportunity to address concepts before procedures, they have an opportunity to ask questions, to engage in processes, to really dig into the mathematics in ways that make sense to them. So you think that's 13? Do you think that he's shown me 13 in, a, in another way? Yes. How can you be sure? The second thing that teachers do when they have a deep understanding of the content is that teachers select questions, good questions, questions that really help students address their understandings, their misunderstandings, questions that provoke students to ask their own questions, questions that really help students inquire about the mathematics and to really make relationships between mathematical concepts. The third thing that teachers do when they have a deep understanding of mathematics content is that they collect evidence through the formative assessment process. So let me show me what you mean. So here is 48 and then I also how is trying to count time to get to the number of things to get to the num um, to this number because that's how all the clock. Each time I keep getting there, I keep getting 24. So show me how you got 24. And when they collect evidence through the formative assessment process, they are able then to make the necessary adjustments in curriculum, in instruction, the ways that they are assessing students so that they really have clarity around what students know, what students don't know, and how to use understandings of the learning progressions to use that evidence to improve students' learning. Districts can use the series to do professional development in a lot of different ways. The book series is flexible enough to allow districts to do district-wide PD with every teacher in the district. In addition, they could use it at a school-based or small community of learners professional learning community level in order to have teachers do a book study, to look in depth at what they can do. And the benefit is individual teachers could use this either in their own classroom on their own or across different schools to be able to examine mathematics with depth and consider how to use this book to make sense of mathematics for teaching.